This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Life has a funny way of letting you know something is worth pursuing. It's not a blatant green light. It's not a lit path. It's not a sign from God. It is unexpectedly the hard-coded fear of rejection. This is the supernatural force that both guides us and holds us back. The fear of rejection is the filter that separates those who fantasize and those who experience. And this comes into play for all flavors of life, from competition to romance, to self-expression. It's the reason we cope and say things like, they're just clothes. It's just a game, bro. Again, these are just coping mechanisms that we use to flatten the reality that maybe, just maybe, these things might actually mean something to us. And I think sometimes we're just scared that these pillars that shape our ego might not be as secure as we think they are. Because let's be honest, if we believed any of these statements at face value, there would be no emotional investment to begin with. Like the phrase, it's just a game, is such a cheap way to discredit the amount of time and effort somebody might have put into something they love. Whether it's merit being universally respected or not, I feel like passion should be a universally recognized currency. And that's the same way a lot of people, maybe even yourself, feel about fashion. We put so much time and effort into fulfilling our desires to express ourselves through clothes, not to mention the f abhorrent financial investment. I think that it's okay to be emotionally invested into clothes. Vulnerability title card. Your style is a direct extension of you. So when you're fully expressing how you feel, what you love, and what truly makes you, you, through clothes, you're inherently being very vulnerable without even knowing it. I think this is where all that nerve and fear of rejection really comes from. When you have all that on, you're vulnerable to being judged for the way you are. Like you have to really strip down to put things on. You gotta take the armor off to put that shit on. You know what I mean? I feel like if you translate that to Chinese and then you translate it back, that's just probably crazy. But you gotta take off your armor to put that shit on. That's so- I'm gonna expose myself a little bit here and maybe some of you guys can relate to this. I personally do this thing when I'm stepping out of my comfort zone with a fit. Whenever I'm just trying something risky, like whenever I'm trying on a fit that I could possibly look really cool in, but I could also just look really fucking stupid. Whenever I'm cooking up one of those, I personally do this thing in my head where I try to rationalize like why I picked these clothes. Just rational, just trying to justify logically why I'm making these choices so that maybe I feel like internally I have a valid excuse to be wearing everything or like if I ever have to explain myself to somebody I feel like I have an objective reasoning that I created in my head you know what I mean like when you got some crazy stuff on and you're just like oh yeah I, I have to wear this because I like I like in Bro, what the fuck am I talking about? Oh, I, I just really like these boots because they make my feet feel good. They're fucking killing my feet. But like, oh, I, I really like how they feel. Like when they separate my big toe, they're fucking killing me. I fucking hate my life. But all of this, this whole mental gymnastics thing is so pointless because the real reason I chose these things is just because I like them. If you like, how the fuck are you even supposed to rationalize that? How do you possibly rationalize intuition? It's almost impossible. Like, let's use an example right now. So let's say, you know, Neapolitan ice cream, right? I know this is a weird f turn, but just stay with me. Of these three, which is your favorite flavor? You have five seconds to think about this. I'm gonna give you five seconds. You have three seconds, you have two seconds left. You have, personally, my favorite flavor of this is the strawberry. It's just my pick. I know a lot of you guys probably f with the vanilla the most, and there are probably a couple weirdos, fucking weirdos out there that mess with the chocolate first. But here's the kick, right, of these options. No matter what you pick, how do you, possibly rationalize why you picked what you picked like how do you put this into reasoning like oh i just i don't know i think i just really like the strawberry because i i, I just really like strawberry i really i just i just i just um i just it is impossible to rationalize taste 
much less rationalizing taste. There is no objective way to explain why strawberry is better than vanilla and chocolate. And there's no way to explain why you might pick the vanilla over the strawberry and the chocolate. And if you're picking the f chocolate, bro, like get the f I can't even judge you because you don't even know why you're picking chocolate either. So like, who am I to judge you for picking chocolate when I can't even figure out why I'm picking strawberry? But it's not like you had a choice either. You like the chocolate one. And maybe it's not even just the chocolate flavor. Maybe you just like chocolate. And that's why you like the chocolate flavored ice cream more. But how do you even explain why you like chocolate? I don't know. I just, uh, I think I like chocolate because... I just, uh, um, I like tabbies because I just feel like tabbies just, it's impossible. Anyways, I digress. So me, even knowing that rationalizing my tastes and decisions is pointless, I still use it as a pseudo defense mechanism for whatever reason. And dude, to this day, I still do it. I still, I just naturally end up there. But it's like, brother, give it up. Also, on the other hand, sometimes... I just like to wear regular shit. It has been my guilty pleasure to just wear regular shit. Like genuinely, I just like throwing on some mid and getting on with my day. But it's fucking funny because even sometimes when I'm just wearing normal stuff, I still find myself justifying why I'm wearing these things, which is actually so much worse than when you gotta mentally justify why you're wearing weird stuff. Like, why am I justifying myself wearing regular clothes? But maybe that is just a me problem and I'm just fucking stupid. But no, I'm sure there are a lot of people that also do this, especially if you're really into fashion and you really care about the consistency of your fits. Like sometimes you just wanna wear nothing and then you're over here hoping like, damn, I hope people don't think I'm washed because I'm showing up in some regular ass fit. I think we should normalize PTO for crazy fits. Why is every game a ranked game now? <sighs> so what are we doing, boys? Are we just gonna feel weird about putting on anything at this point? How small is the window for content actually? Well, maybe it's not actually about the clothes. Maybe that imaginary sweet spot between the reluctantly mundane and the stressfully ambitious it's not even real. Maybe the room to enjoy fashion is as big as you want it to be. What if they really are just clothes and the real battle with your insecurity is in your head and not your wardrobe? The point of this video was to validate caring about clothes. I think the real stress behind them does not even come from anything outside. And I think it comes from your emotional investment internally. Like there's just something vulnerable about expressing yourself this way. And sometimes it's tough when there's no logical justification. It's sometimes the only way we can cope with the reality of things. But then also what the f do you want me to do? Like I wanna wear tabbies, like there is no, like there's no fucking logical explanation. It is fucking silly. There's no way to explain myself. All I'm gonna say is if you didn't care, you wouldn't care. But you do, sadly. If only our personalities and tastes were as simple as just picking a template and running with it. Just imagine having over a hundred designer award-winning templates at your disposal to truly express yourself however you want to. <sighs> Sometimes I wish fashion was just as simple as the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. And now it's even easier to make a website yours with this website building system called Fluid Engine, where you can essentially put your whole website on a grid, where you can drag and drop technical and graphic assets to your liking, making your website look exactly how you want it with ease. It literally, it doesn't, I don't know, it, how much easier do you want it? And as an e-commerce guy myself, I always found that to be the biggest headache when building a website, considering how much is happening logistically. But now with all these integrated e-commerce tools, Tools, you can really just plug and play with whatever you're using on your Squarespace website. Everything is handled for you. And now you can also go and try out all these designer templates, test out the Fluid Engine at squarespace.com slash frugal aesthetic, where you can get a free trial of everything that I was just talking about. And when you want to place an order, you'll get 10% off. Now, as always, at squarespace.com slash frugal aesthetic. Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video and just all the videos, really. I really hope you've enjoyed the video so far because I don't know how it's going. So you're probably wondering, what is this f format, dude? Well, when I was concepting this video, 
I was thinking of visually how is this gonna happen and I feel like all the crazy editing and visual play would kind of take away from how earnest I was actually trying to be. And also this just is so much more fucking easy to do than all that green screen sh**. But really though, it has been a while since I haven't f***ed around. I feel like for a lot of the videos that I make, I kind of think of what problems do people have with clothes and what might help them see things differently. But in the making of this one, I kind of noticed I was pulling a lot from the problems that I have with fashion and a lot of it just being like losing my perspective of why I'm even wearing clothes. And then everything kind of coming back to just, I really care about clothes. And from all parts of it, from the fuck and from this boring sh that I love, I love, dude, I fuck love this t-shirt, man. I just like wearing this t-shirt and calling it. But then sometimes I feel away because I'm like, dude, I could be wearing all this crap. I could be utilizing the resources at my disposal and expressing myself. But also I just like wearing what I want to wear. And sometimes this is what I want to wear. And sometimes I want to wear crazy shit. But should I even be stressing about either of those things? Regardless of what I want to wear, should I even be stressing about it? You know, at the end of the day, they're just clothes. Guys will make a whole fucking video and set up two camera angles and talk about ice cream as a parallel to why you can't explain why you care about clothes so much. Then go to therapy. Guys will tag a Squarespace sponsor at the end of a vent session instead of going to therapy. But yeah, I think they're just clothes. I also, I'm realizing now it's probably, um, I'm about to just ruin the whole video right now. So click off. If you, if you had a good takeaway, you should click off right now. I'm starting to think that it's actually not even that deep.